The learning journey in association with Turn It Up Tuesday hosted by Ross Audio presents Did You Know? And this week, we'll focus on Jankunu. We'll focus on how slaves in the Caribbean celebrated Christmas and the impact it has on us today. Christmas is a time of joy and celebration worldwide. And the Caribbean, there is no exception. But what many people don't know is that the customs and traditions that define Christmas in the Caribbean are not just from Europe. One of the most unique and fascinating traditions of the Caribbean is the Jankunu. This vibrant, colorful street performance is believed to have originated with the slaves brought to the Caribbean and the Americas from the region of West Africa. In this presentation, we will explore the history, the meaning, and the significance of the Jankunu and how it is celebrated today. Jankunu, sometimes called Jankanu or Jankunu, is an African-inspired dance and performance popular in the Caribbean and the Americas. Connections of this dance can be tracked back to the 18th century. The name Jankanu is derived from the African word Jankanu, which is believed to be a reference to an African chief called John Kanu. However, there is still a mystery regarding the place of birth of this performance. This performance is usually performed during the Christmas period and consists of dancers and musicians dressed in brightly colored costumes who parade through the streets. The performance is usually accompanied by drums, bells, and other percussion instruments. When I was a boy, I ran away from them. Or if they were passing my home, I hid under the bed. That was no joke. The history of Jankunu in the Caribbean is closely linked to the history of slavery in the region. It is believed that the tradition originated with the African slaves brought to the Caribbean during the colonized period. The slaves used the performance to celebrate their culture and heritage. The tradition was also used to remember and honor those who died in the struggle against slavery. It is believed that the performance was used as a form of protest against the oppressive conditions of slavery and a way to show solidarity among the slaves. Over time, the population adopted the tradition of the Jankunu in the Caribbean and began incorporating it in their celebrations. Over time, this tradition has become an essential part of the cultural identity of the Caribbean and is celebrated in many countries in the region. The meaning of Jankunu is challenging to pin down and is very complex and multifaceted in its tradition. On one level, the performance is a celebration of African culture and heritage. On another level, it is also believed to be a symbol of hope and optimism and a reminder that even in the darkest time, there is always light and joy to be found. Notwithstanding, some planters ban this form of festivity, especially when they sense a sense of weakness on their defense. According to one source, after slaves were freed in Jamaica, the planting class tried to ban Jankunu Festival in Jamaica, which of course, you know, would have caused a riot. Jankunu is celebrated during the Christmas period. It is usually performed in public spaces. The music of the Jankunu is important and consists of drums, bells, and other percussion instruments. The lead drummer usually improvises and leads the music and the other musicians will follow along. The music is usually fast-paced and upbeat and is designed to keep the performers and audience energized and excited. The costumes worn by the performers of the Jankunu are brightly colored and elaborate and often featuring feathers, masks, and other decorations. In Jamaica, the traditional characters included cowhead, policeman, wild Indian, horsehead, a belly woman, pitchy-patchy, and the devil. The devil always had his fork. Sometimes the performers included a bride. The Jankun is an important part in the Jamaican culture and also the Caribbean. It is a symbol of resistance, resilience, and a reminder of the power of African people to transcend oppression and reclaim their autonomy and freedom. Let me conclude by saying the Jankunu is a vibrant and colorful African-inspired dance and performance popular in the Caribbean. It is believed to have originated from the African slaves brought to the Caribbean during the colonized period and is still celebrated in countries such as Jamaica, Barbados. The performance is usually in the Christmas period 
and it consists of dancers just enjoying themselves and roaming the streets. Sad to say, the Jamaican gleaner highlights the dying tradition of the Jankunu. The gleaner suggests that efforts have been made to revive the tradition, but limited progress has been made. What are your thoughts on why this tradition and other traditions are dying in Jamaica? And is it worthwhile keeping these traditions going? To be honest, I really miss the days of hearing the Jankunu music and walking down the streets and seeing those individuals playing their part. I enjoyed seeing the belly woman, but to be honest, I always ran away from her. And of course, the devil I would stay far from. Over to you, Rossi. <laughs>